Hello all, welcome to Wondershare eDrawMax. In this video, we'll learn about garden plans. Garden design is the process of designing and making plans for the layout and planting of gardens. Due to its aesthetic value, garden design is often considered an art. Any well laid out garden is created with a garden design plan. What to consider before starting your garden design? There are different ways that one can plan their garden designs and layouts. But there are certain main considerations for garden design plans, and they are Sun exposure Shade and sunlight exposure are the main aspects to consider when you're planning a garden. Soil conditions This is the foundation of any garden and will help determine the kind of plants or trees you can grow. Segmentation a well-planned garden layout includes segmented areas for flowering plants, herbs, trees, and so forth. Address obstacles. Think about drainage and other problems and possible solutions for these. Maintenance issues. A large, elaborate garden will need to be well-maintained and hence someone would need to tend to it regularly. On the other hand, succulent plants are best for gardens that do not need the elaborate care that flowering plants do. Choosing the right plants. This is the final step to ensure that a garden flowers well. Plants need to be chosen for sunny or shaded parts accordingly. You should also consider your budget and the care requirements such as water usage. Now let's see how to design an amazing garden plan. Step 1. Select a drawing scale and create an outline. Step 2. Find the right tool and symbols. Step 3. Plan the features to add. Step 4. Add other design elements. And step five, visualize the final plan and export to PDF. Navigate to File, click on New, and select Engineering from the Categories, Building Plan from the Subcategories, and now choose Garden Design. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. To start a garden design plan, you can start by drawing basic outlines. Plot the position of fixed aspects such as the lawn, pool, and home entrance, and set the boundaries of the different areas. Features such as a resting area, pathways, a pavilion, and flower beds need to be planned ahead in the garden design plan. After mapping out the basic landscape elements, feel free to add on plants. I'm ungrouping the symbol as I don't want the gray background. I'm adding plants to the flower bed. To duplicate the shapes, hold down the control key and drag. To distribute equally, select all the plants and then click on Distribute Equally. To bring the plant on top, select the plant and right-click and select Bring to Front. Now I'm selecting both of these plants and grouping them together with the help of Ctrl-G.
Now I'm adding stones and flour, present under Garden Library. And let's add tables and chairs. To export the file to PDF format, click on File, and select Export and Send. And now click on PDF PS EPS. Choose the required option, and save the file. Now you can see the garden design has been exported to PDF format. Now let's see a few examples of garden designs that are available in eDraw Max. Here's garden design number one. Here's garden design number two. And this is a restaurant garden design plan. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max online or to download the software.